Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. This is another video on lead generation series. Today we are going to learn how to add Google ad leads in Zoho CRM and add data in Google Sheets. Suppose I am having an event management company and to promote my business, I have created a lead gen form by using Google ads. And now I want that whenever a new lead will be generated through it, automatically the same lead should be added in my Zoho CRM account. And at last I also want that the data of the same lead should be added in my Google Sheets in order to create a record. So how we are going to do this process? automatically and effortlessly for that we will have to integrate all these applications and for that we are going to use public connect which is an amazing automation and integration software now what we are going to do we have Google Ads in our trigger Zoho CRM and Google Sheets in our action so we will be connecting all of them in order to automate this entire process and to learn the entire process step by step let me take you all to my screen in this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically add the leads which are generated from Google Ads to Zoho CRM in the form of leads and then how can we automatically add the details of the same lead in our Google Sheets in order to create a new record. Okay, now in order to create this automation, we will have to integrate all these applications and for that, I'm going to use Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach on this home page we can find two options here sign in and sign up for free if you are an existing user you can directly click on sign in but if you are a new user you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software now because i'm already an existing user therefore i'm clicking on sign in and this is the all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. in order to create this automation we are going to use Pabli connect so let's click on access now and it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. On this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And also we can create multiple folders here in order to save our workflows. So as you can find, I have two folders over here. In this test integration folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. So in the same manner, you can save your workflows by creating multiple folders accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. And when we will click on it, a dialog box will appear in front of us. So it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So let us first of all, I'll give a name here add Google Ads leads to Zoho CRM and add data in Google Sheets. I have given a basic name according to the motive of our workflow. You can give any name to your workflows according to your choice. After giving the name, you can also select the folder in which you want to save this workflow. Here, I'm going to select this test folder. Okay, now after selecting the folder, let's click on create. And when we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts on which the entire automation runs. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. Whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to initiate the entire workflow and will give the commands to the workflow. Okay, and the actions are going to follow the same command. And therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. So let's understand understand the concept of trigger and action once again with the example of this workflow. Let's suppose here we are going to take Google Ads in our trigger and Zoho CRM in our action and we want and we want that as soon as a new lead will be generated by filling up the form in Google Ads, automatically the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect and by using the same response, a new lead should be created in Zoho CRM. Okay, so here we can find that the action is the response towards our trigger. So after understanding the concept of trigger and action, let's start creating this workflow. First of all, we will select the trigger application, which is Google Ads. And after selecting the application, let's select the trigger event. The trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger. So the new lead form entry is going to be our trigger event. As we want that whenever a new lead will be generated by filling up the form in Google Ads, the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect and the workflow should get trigger. As we have clicked on connect, a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions. Now, first of all, in order to capture the response, we will have to connect Google Ads with Pabli Connect. And we are going to do that with the help of this webhook URL. Okay, so let me take you to my Google Ads account. And after coming on my account, we can find that this is the form which I have created. So this is a registration form named as Sparkle Events. Sparkle Events is the name of my company. So basically, I have created this registration form in order to capture the leads for my event management company. Okay, so as soon as a person is going to fill this form and submit it, the details of the same lead will be captured here in Pabli Connect. Okay, but before that, you will have to connect the 
Google ad form with Paply Connect. So I have kept very basic details in this form. I have used the fields such as first name, last name, phone number and email. So because I am doing a test submission here, I have kept the form very basic. When you will create your own form, you can definitely add more fields in that. Okay. Now when you will create your form after adding all the necessary details, you will have to scroll down. When you will scroll down, you will find the option of lead delivery. Okay. And under that, we will find webhook integration. So by using this option, we are going to connect this particular form with public connect so that the response could be sent there okay now first of all in this field of webhook url we have to paste the url which we have received from public connect so let's just copy it and we will paste it here done and the next is key okay so you might be wondering from where you are going to find the key in order to find the key you just have to look towards the webhook url which is provided to you so basically the last part of the webhook url is our key so we will simply open a new tab and then i'm going to paste the webhook url here and we can find that after send webhook data, this last part of the webhook URL is our key. So let's just copy it and we will paste it here in this key field. Now after entering the details, we will have to click on send test data. So by clicking on it, we have sent the test data that is a test lead towards Pabli Connect. Let's go and check on Pabli Connect and here we can find that yes, we have received a response with all the details of a new lead. So these are the dummy details. So because I'm not running a live campaign on my Google Ads account, therefore I could not capture the details of a real lead in Pabli Connect. Therefore, I am going to continue in this automation by using the same response which we have received. That is the dummy response. Okay, so because we have received the response here along with all the details of the lead, therefore our integration is perfectly successful. Now what we are going to do after sending the test data, we just have to click on save. And now when we have clicked on save, our Google ad lead form is connected with Pabli Connect. Okay, so now we will move further and our next motive is to add the same lead in Zoho CRM. Okay, so what we are going to do, we will simply select the action application as Zoho CRM. And in our action event, we will select insert or update record. Click on connect. And from the given options, I'm going to select add new connection. If you want, you can also go with the existing connection. Click on connect with Zoho CRM. And now it is asking us for the domain. From where we are going to find this domain? In order to find that, first of all, we have to go on our Zoho CRM account. And after coming on this account, we can find in the URL, our domain is given. So here my domain is zoho.in. So what I'm going to do, I will simply copy it and paste it here in this field. In the same manner, you have to find your domain by looking towards the URL of your Zoho CRM account. Okay, click on save. And now Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Zoho CRM account. It is 100% safe, so let's click on accept. And with this, our authorization is successful. So since I was already logged into my Zoho CRM account, the authorization has become successful very easily and Zoho CRM account is connected with Pabli Connect. You also have to keep in mind always to keep logging to your applications before making up a connection with Pabli Connect as it makes the connection simple and easier. So we will move further and here we have to enter the details in these fields in order to create a new lead in Zoho CRM. First of all, it is asking us for the module name. In the module name, we will select leads. After selecting module name, the next it is asking us for the layout. So layout is already selected as standard and some of the details are not mandatory over here. Therefore, I'm ignoring them for now. Okay, if you want, you can definitely add them. I will directly move towards the details which I have received in the response from Google Ads and that is first name, last name, email and the phone number. Our motive is to create a Zoho CRM lead by using the response which we have received from Google Ads. Okay, therefore we are going to use the same details of the lead which we have received from Google Ad Leads form and therefore we will map the data here. So what is mapping? Mapping is just inserting the data from our previous step. We just have to select our previous step like this and we will find all the details here. Okay, so whatever detail we want, we will simply select it. Here we want first name. So this is the string value of first name which we have received from our earlier response. We will simply select it and it is map. Now when we map the data automatically, whenever a new response will be captured in Pabli Connect, the data in this field is going to be replaced along with a new data. That means the first name which we have mapped over here is going to be replaced with another name of another person. Therefore, wherever in the workflow we want that data should get replaced automatically, there we use mapping. And whenever we want that data should remain same for each and every response, there we type it manually and that is called a static mapping okay so after mapping the first name let's map the last name also in the same manner we will select our previous step and here is our last name done the next is email so let's map the email also this is the test email and now the phone number 
So this is the dummy phone number which we have received in the in the Google Ad Leads response. After entering all the basic details, I am simply going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that, we can find that we have received the response. And here we have received all the details of the lead which is recently created in Zoho CRM. Okay, so let's go and check in Zoho CRM whether a new lead is created there or not. And here after coming on the account, let's go on lead section. Here we can find that a new lead is generated with all the same details which we have received from Google Ads response. Okay, so here is the first name, last name, email and the same phone number. Now because a lead is created over here, that means our workflow is perfectly successful up till now. So let's move towards our next action step and that is adding the details of this lead in Google Sheets. So I have prepared a spreadsheet which contains the fields as first name, last name, email and contact. Now I want that whenever a lead will be generated by filling up the form in Google Ads, automatically the response should be captured and a new row should be added automatically in this particular spreadsheet along with all the details of the same lead. Basically the motive here is to create a record of all Google Ad Leads. Now what we are going to do, we will have to connect this particular spreadsheet with Pabli Connect and that we are going to do by clicking on this Add Action Step button. So let's select the action application as Google Sheets and in the action event we will select Add New Row. Click on Connect. From the given options, I am going to select Add New Connection to build a new connection with Google Sheets account. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. We will click on Sign In with Google. Select the account and here Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Google account. So let's click on continue as it is 100% safe. And here we can find that our authorization is successful. Since I was already logged into my Google Sheets account, the authorization has become successful very easily. So let's move further and we will have to enter the details in these fields in order to create a record in Google Sheets. First of all, we will have to select the spreadsheet and I have created this spreadsheet with a name as Google Ad Leads and we can find that it is already selected over here. The next is sheet. So because I've only created one sheet here in this spreadsheet, automatically Pabli Connect has deducted that and sheet one is also selected over here. Now we will have to enter the details of the lead in these fields so that, so that automatically a new row could be added in our Google Sheet. So first of all, it is asking us for the first name. We have received all the details of this lead from Google Ads response. We are going to use the same response here. So we will simply map the first name, last name, email and the phone number. Done. After mapping all the details successfully, let's click on save and send test request. And here we can find that we have received the response. Since we have received the response without any error, that means a new row has been added in our Google Sheets. So let's go and check. And yes, here we can find that a new row is added in this spreadsheet with all the details of the lead which is recently generated through Google Lead Ads form. Okay, so this means our workflow is perfectly successful. So let's go back on Fabri Connect and we will summarize what we have done in this workflow. So here I have taken three simple steps, trigger and two actions. In trigger, we have taken Google Ads and in action, we have taken Zoho CRM and Google Sheets. And we have connected all of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a new lead will be generated by filling up the form in Google Ads, automatically the response of the same lead will be captured here in Pabli Connect. And by using the same response, a new lead will be created in Zoho CRM. And after that, automatically the details of the same lead will be added in our Google Sheets in the form of new row. So in the same manner, by following the simple steps, you can create this automation very easily and this will enable you to nurture your Google ad leads further by adding them in Zoho CRM automatically and automatically creating a record of all these leads in your Google spreadsheet without any manual efforts. Okay, so this was another video on lead generation series. I hope this was helpful for you. We are going to learn more such automations and lead generation strategies in our upcoming videos. Up till then, thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the redpabli.com. If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pabli Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.